also, as, as an East Asian, you're also, at BMI of 28, have more propensity for metabolic syndrome and, and diabetes, and probably need an intervention at a much earlier, at a lower weight or BMI than somebody from North America. Let me put it to you this way. Um, we pay for people with lung cancer, and they smoked their way to that. And that is considered self-inflicted. Um, if people have heart disease, well, they may have smoked and been obese and, and um, not taken care of their blood pressure properly. But we treat heart disease and heart attacks very seriously. But they may have been self-inflicted too. And many of these children, they are a product of their environment. It is not their fault yeah. that they became obese. You cannot blame a child for becoming obese. I mean, they don't have a clue. And the food industry is doing everything that it can to keep us from menu labeling. I mean, the pushback in New York City from just keeping them from putting calories on the menu boards and fast food restaurants, the money that was spent to prevent that legislation from happening. You cannot make a healthy choice without information. But they try to keep that information from you. And they have, and I just read a study, I want to say within the last two weeks, and they found that there was a percentage of people who made a different choice when they saw the caloric content on the menu board, they made a different choice and chose a lower <coughs> calorie item. But the eye popping that I see in my clinic when we tell them how many calories they're truly eating, when they tell us what they choose at a fast food restaurant, we can tell them because we can pull it up online and we know. And we tell them and these families are shocked. They have no idea the number of calories they're intaking until somebody tells them because that information is not easily available and we need to make it available for everybody. And the number of fat grams and this information is not taught very easily and it's not taught well to any of us unless we go seek it and it's not an easy thing and they keep making it harder for us and they try to trick us by telling us this is low sugar and then you look at the food label and they've just changed the type of sugar so it can be called that but it's really still loaded with carbs you see what I'm saying so the food industry is really trying to push these products on us and they and they put really pretty labels on things for kids that have no nutritional value, but they make it with cartoon characters, and they make it really fun, and they put little clowns on things, and no nutritional value.